this fabric is definitely not doing anything for me it is a uh, yellow a very pale yellow a very very pale pink a white and a black and uh, do I waste my money on vet on dyeing it or do I just make some pajamas out of it? I think I'll just make pajamas out of it guess who caved in and these two pieces are going to be dyed black and this is what they turned out like the brown one that I didn't like the colour of dyed it black it's come out rather nice I've done the stripes downwards rather than the crossways I had probably a meter and I the pattern that I used was the what was the pattern the pattern that I used was the belladonna top uh, I'll take that out of there to let you see it was the belladonna And I wanted to do this one at the back and they don't show you there but it's got a, a seam there and it's got a longer sleeve because I found that was quite is it done does it show you on the next one yeah on the drawing there it shows you that the sleeve here has a little extra bit to it and I've already made that before and I found it quite a nice uh, top to make but as usual I didn't have enough fabric the, the thing I liked about the, the, the sleeve was it falls down and then falls back up so your seam here has an inner and an outer, your inner and the outer is all the right side of the fabric. So I've just had to basically make shorter sleeves and uh, just have a little hem there. Round neck, I've just kept it as a round neck and it drapes nicely. So that is the one, I'm really pleased with that one. The other one is this one. And this one was there and this is what it's turned out like it's actually bluer and grayer in the um, in the camera but it's actually showing a very dark gray that's black that's like a, a faded yellowy color and I figure that it's more apt to be I can probably make something out of it more now uh, but the other way might still end up with pajamas but um, it just wasn't doing it for me the other one I also received this box that came via eBay I won it on eBay and it is um, a lady called Eve and it was her first attempt at doing some eBay selling and I thought she did a marvelous job and um, when we op I got it I can't remember I won it in an auction anyway it's got a, the box is slightly broken I don't know if that was broken to start with or whether it was just an impact break but that's not a problem because it can be repaired um, and let me just show you what was in the box so when it came his lordship caught his eyes on the first thing that I saw with that I, when I opened it I didn't see it he caught his eyes on this and that was a milky bar chocolate bar so thank you Eve for putting that in you didn't really need to but that was appreciated his lordship will enjoy that um, the box is if I hold it up it's very heavy it's very big that is it complete box got it's broken there but that's not a problem I can fix that but inside I'm going to take you off off the stand to let you see what's inside because inside are these let me stop this inside are all these um, dust clays female clays some of them are all wrapped in foil foil some is, hasn't been opened in foil there's also a crystal clay which I've never used before and basically two part epoxy clay you mix it together and then you can form it into any shape and you can do what you like with it I still have some of those paste stones from when my father used to have them for to, for um, replacing stones in customers' cheap brooches. So I might see if I can use that. Uh, there's all these colours that are here that haven't been used at all. They're just half packs, but that's lovely. There is uh, this, which is gloss lacquer. Never used that before. This one, which is gloss varnish, again, never used that before. I do have one of these already. This is like a little syringe 
that you put your clay into and you squeeze it through these little oh, these little uh, ends and you can get different shapes and then all along here are more clays as I've said underneath I did find under one of them here is uh, where was it oh. oh there is another piece of crystal clay two-part epoxy don't know whether it's gone hard or whether it'll still work but we can always try it and see and then underneath if I lift this up and go underneath it's quite heavy uh, we have just put in some little uh, ruler with circles on another ruler with ovals um, a triangular ruler and uh, leftover bits from her her moulding uh, in fact leftover a few more bits which I can find a use for um, some cane, these are cane moulds moulds for making canes which is like that you put your clay in and you make a you make a cane mold um, then there are there's another cane mold somewhere if I can find it this is another one and this is a oh, another cane mold with three different shapes there then she has oh there's loads of tools if I just do that loads of tools cutters um, molding for all sorts of things there some of them are double-ended the cutters I already have cutters I, I've got a lot of clay anyway and I just thought it was really good I thought if needs be I might, might give some to the granddaughters uh, for them to play with I've got some cutters a couple of those which I already have anyway but not a problem then I have um, I wish I'd known this because I've got a roller and I've already, I, I actually had a roller but I can't find it and I've ordered another one and two days later a roller came but that won't, it won't come in wrong. Then I've got these beautiful little tools that she sent, uh, that's another knife. These tools here which have all different sizes of ball ends at both ends and um, a little pair of scissors. Even though I've got loads of scissors, you can't go wrong with a little pair of scissors. And this is quite interesting. It's called Silly Put. I've never tried this. Silicon putty. You mix half and half in a small amount. And then um, it makes a mould. And then supposing you want to make a mould of uh, an earring. You, put, you mix these two together. Then push the earring into the mould. So you get a mould from it. And you take the earring part out and that mould dries to a rock hard piece of um, it dries rock hard and then you can use that to put your female clay in to make your own earrings and lastly there are the finest finest pet sets of little pointed tools tiny tiny little points on the end of them amazing I don't know, I would imagine she's also put in some jewellery to show and I can see what she's been doing. I emailed her and said, have you been making this jewellery? And she said yes. But she's a grandma and she's decided to start knitting and sewing. She's concentrating more on the knitting and sewing. She also sent me some moulds. This one hasn't been used yet, I don't think. I would imagine they all look like they haven't been used. This one, these ones are long moulds. Then I've got fruit a fruit mold for fruit you push the, the uh, female into the back of there to make molds um, and flowers and hearts now these are less important for me they're not the kind of area that I want to do but um, not bad so there's some really nice pieces there bits there I've got more than enough to keep me going for a long time. But in, she also included this little bag that had things that she'd made in them. And I was absolutely amazed by them. These are the earrings that she made. And look at how intricate they are. Aren't they beautiful? And then there is a bracelet. There's two bracelets that she's enclosed. And those are the bracelets. Look at those. This isn't what I want to do, 
but I think she has done a beautiful job with those absolutely beautiful and the other one has red ones I think they've fallen to bits and I think it needs repairing the red ones those are the red ones so really lovely bracelets lovely female clay again as I say it's not what I want to do but I think they are gorgeous well it's two days before total lockdown for a month I don't know how you lot feel about it I don't mind except that I feel sorry for all of these shops because you know um they could do with the business you know we've had such a bad time and the month before Christmas we're going to be locked down until the start until the start of December and it's going to be absolute manic uh, the last few weeks of December trying to do Christmas shopping if you can do Christmas shopping um but I've done all mine now I've complete I think I'm I've told my kids I don't want any Christmas presents we it's, it's, it's a done thing I said look I don't want any Christmas presents and what I want you to do is when this is all over and COVID is all over and we have no more um, and we've been given vaccines or whatever and everything's over and done with you can take us out for our Sunday lunch now that's enough for me Brian and I do not buy presents for each other we haven't done that for a number of years and we just can't see the point of the kids spending their money on us so um i've got all my presents for the girls and for the grandchildren that's me sorted i'm going to send them down to their houses or send them up to their houses brian and i will just sit back on christmas day and enjoy the day uh we usually actually we usually do just sit back on christmas day it's the boxing day that's the apps when they all pour down pour to our house to uh to enjoy themselves but i think we're going to hopefully just have a chilling christmas um i just I, i'm trying to feel positive i am positive i'm my glasses always half full i've never felt down with the previous lockdown and this lockdown I think probably as an ex-biology teacher, I know that in this area itself, where, where I live, the number of corona, COVID numbers are down. The COVID numbers aren't very high and they never have been. But in the next county to us, which is only, what, four, uh, eight miles away, they are so inundated with um, COVID that the hospitals are struggling to cope and this is before the actual winter sets in so i think it's not so much that the covid numbers are increasing or that they're you know it's more the concern for the uh, for the for the hospitals and my son i said texted my son he teaches in a high school and i said are you going to be um teaching or because i know that the school the one of the unions doesn't want them to be teaching and I said, are you going to be teaching or are you going to be going into lockdown as well? And I know that they said that the schools were going to be going into, going, had still had to go. And he said, we can't afford for the kids not to go to school, mum. He said, they're all, because the area that he's in, which is the north of England, and they're always not doing so well as the south, they've been in lockdown for a lot longer. And he said, the kids are well behind the rest of the country. And he said, it's grossly unfair because they're all going to be judged on exams. And because they're well behind already, we can't afford to be off anymore. And he said, it is getting difficult because some teachers aren't present. And I said, my response was, I thought this might be inevitable. You know, who wants to be, who wants to work in the eye of a storm? Who wants to be a nurse amongst all those COVID patients or a doctor amongst all those COVID patients? Who wants to be a teacher with kids coming to school with COVID-19, even though they don't show it, there's some of them show part the, the test positive. You know, who wants to do that? And there will be some teachers and some nurses who are terrified of doing it. So that, you know, and, and I would imagine schools and hospitals are going to be, to, as the winter approaches, they're going to be working on a, a razor edge trying to keep everything going. So much as we don't want to lock down, I think we need to just to keep the sanity for the nurses and the teachers. Nurses more 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 so than uh, teachers because nurses are right on the front line. You know, they are the ones that are constantly exposed to, to COVID-19. My say on it, I am gasping for a drink of water. And so 
I've done some Christmas shopping. I'm all shopped up and now I'm going home and I'm going to have myself a long swig of sparkling water. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Sometimes cigarettes smoked in the movies are completely and utterly CGI. So the cigarette smoked by Sigourney Weaver in Avatar is completely CGI. It's not there. Factoid. In 30 minutes of banging tunes, brought to you by Tea Times here on Radio 2. Sarah Cox's half hour. Prepare for the posters on your teenage bedroom walls to come alive. It's our 80s heartthrob special. Check this out. Um, also, I, when I was at the range, let me tilt you back up again. How do I tilt you back up there? There. Also, when I was at the range, when, the other day, before lockdown, I saw these little packets. I've got fabric all over me. I saw these little bundles and they're only about six centimetres across two inches across and I saw them one and I bought I thought I'd buy a few bundles I bought four five bundles there's five one there and then there's this one which I bought I've already opened that up and they are from they were a pound each and there are 140 fabrics 10 designs and uh, they're from I think it's from Holland and they are lots of little tissues little fabrics I'll do a close-up so you can see the fabric is fairly thin it's like a it's like a satiny type of fabric uh, let's have a look at this one this one's got a yellow in it and you can see it's quite thin you can see my hat a little bit almost see my hand through it but what I when I the reason why I bought them was I was thinking of doing things like this with it and I figured that would be quite nice to use these little bits of fabric on here to create some kind of pattern in those kind of colors in different colors so that's what my intention is just to use these little pieces and because the only thing is that whereas that one I've done with longer pieces and little bits that I've got left I could incorporate other ones that are in the same colour scheme but these are all standard lengths all the way around so those are some fabric bundles I bought another one I saw was from I saw a lady on a lady on um, Instagram had shown us this fabric and I thought it looked lovely and so she, I asked her what it was and she never got back to me but then I managed to source it myself and I wanted to do more or less the same thing as that but I wanted it in greys and it's called Geometry by Janet Clare it's Moda Fabric Supplies and uh, 42 charm pack 5 inch squares and the colours you know this is the woman who doesn't like green well there are greys there are it's greyish beige and greens and I liked I liked that I thought it was rather nice so I'm going to do something with this probably in January because I don't think I'll have time to do it at the moment but uh, those are all fabrics that I bought lately anyway I think oh and another thing that I bought were these cable holders I've got this for my uh, because his lordship and I sit opposite each other on the table on our work table I was sick of all these cables coming by because he's we have got a printer under the table that we have to connect to our laptops and then we've got he's got a printer for his um, for for making labels for his carriage for carriage uh, from the company that does from DPD or DHL I have a label printer under my chair and under my on the table underneath our table and um, I was sick of all these cables so I figured that I got this so that I could use this to put the cables on and the cables can feed through. The only downside is it doesn't stick very well so um, I found that it works best when it's on the top of the table rather than at the side. I wanted it on the leg like that so that I could have the cables going up 
and then we could pull it up when we wanted to connect it to the laptop but it wasn't working so I've got it on the table like that just on the corner of the table and the cables just like rest in these in these holes I've also got one of those that is on the bedside table and it holds my wire from my iPad and my wire from my phone when they're being when I'm when I'm using them I just feel it saves the tangles of wires underneath and um, so but I've got a lot left so I'm gonna have to find something to do with them <laughs> well I have been um, buying some fabric again anyway I fancy I, I want to make some jumpery type things I'm, I do like the um, the free uh, what do you call it the free jelly yoko because I like these high necks for the winter and I'm I quite fancy making some more and so I've uh, come across this fabric that's that was reduced and I kept looking at it and thinking do I want something like that but that it was reduced so um, it's come from Vega Textiles Shirley Street in London and there were two colours I think they've got more of this mustard colour than they have of the other of the purple um, I think they're running out of the purple but I just at first I thought do I really like this and it's been on my uh, watch list on eBay for a long time got it via eBay and this is the yellow one so I thought I took that down a bit more you can see it a bit I thought it might make an all right type of jumper the it goes that way I figured some kind of jumper and I was thinking of the Yoko again because it's a free pattern and I like it um, and it's like a wool it's knitted I wasn't sure about it when I when I saw it online it's like a brushed wool Let's see if I can get it there a brushed wool and and the um, that's the that's the wrong side and this is the right side it's a brushed wool um, quite a thinnish jersey but it'll make a nice thin jumper I got this was one meter I think I'm not sure one meter it's very wide so I think I'll get I'll get a good I'll not have to cut corners with this one so that's really it's better than I expected I wasn't sure what it would look like but it's better than I expected um, I can't remember the price so I'll put the price up there for you and um, the other one is the same but in a purple color and as I said this was coming to the end of the line uh, this is the purple one same pattern and it's, I think this is a meter and a half so I probably will get two things out of this but I it's as I say it's better than I expected um, I'll put the link down below where I got it from it's on eBay and if there is still some fabric left and it takes your fancy then do go and order some as I say it's not very expensive it does does have a smell of cigarettes a lot of fabric cut seems to have a smell of cigarettes so it's going to be washed it will be washed just to make sure that it's got a nicer smell so that's my latest purchases he came in and he threw the he didn't he didn't throw it, he just dropped it on the floor and he went, I thought you weren't buying any more fabric. <laughs> I went, Well this is for tops, I haven't got enough jumpers. <laughs> it's a good job he knows me. <laughs> See you later. Then I made this dress along and uh, probably in July, August, and I don't like it. can't find the pattern uh, pattern number but I'll put it up there I can't remember if it's a buttrick or a simplicity it looked nice on the um, on the pattern it's actually a nice uh, a nice dress but this fabric I don't think it's doing much for me with my grey hair for starters also I miss red it comes with old age, I'm sure, it, well it doesn't come with old age because I've always done this, I've always missed that little piece out that should that tells you things. 
and I missed that it said you had to line do do a lining on the front bit so I didn't so I've had to put a satin bias on here which is fine but uh, I don't know it just makes me feel the pockets are really low I probably should have shortened that the pockets are really low and um, I don't know I just feel like it's a bit baggy around here I, the the pattern does do bus sizes so I did the bus pattern to my size but a fraction smaller I think it was because they always say do a slightly smaller size but it still felt a bit baggy I, and probably because it's not not um not uh lined it's it hangs funny here it tends i get this kind of a little bit of a, a, a gathering not a gathering but it's it just doesn't lie properly there and i think that's because it's not lined um i will wear it but it's not my favorite not my favorite at all i'll put a little video up of me wearing it to let you see what it's like Another sip of my coffee before la, 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 la. I continue. Remember these dresses that I told you about? These ones, well, I wasn't happy with it. Um, do you know, I, this morning I remembered your name and later on this morning I can't remember it. So anyway, um, Kaz, Kaz call. Kaz Call said, you've got that wrapped, have you not got that wrapped around the wrong way? Well, yes, I have got it wrapped around. I think you're supposed to have it left over right and I had it right over left, which actually I prefer because then I can, I feel it's better for me to do that way, but it was, wasn't was intentional. So there's another thing, constantly making mistakes. You can be as good as you like, but you still make mistakes. But I love this dress and I love the blue one, but this waistband was not doing me any favours. It just wasn't working for me. So I've taken the whole dress to pieces again and I have made the waistband just a plain one. Uh, just made a plain waistband there rather than the rushed one. And basically I took the bottom of the skirt off I um, and I took it in at the sides as well because it was a little bit baggy on the sides. Took, took it in at the sides Take, took the bottom off, the, the front of it was like rushed, so I took that off and um, it's far better. I've also sewn down there and look, I thought that looked quite nice with the brooch there, just on the top. And Shari will recognise that brooch because she sent it as a present to me last year or the year before. So I figured because it's got palms and things, I thought that would look nice. I'll show you a picture of me wearing it to let you see what it's like. So I've done that one. So I've done that one, that there. this one I'm still in the process of, the blue one. This is causing me a little bit more problems because it seems to be more of a baggier jersey. Um, it's just not, I, I'll get there, but it's not working greatly. So uh, I'm, I can't really lift it up and show you because I'm halfway through pinning it up and, and fixing it. But, um, that one definitely is much nicer now then the other thing that i wanted to show you was if i can find where it is another thing i wanted to show you was this i said to you the other day that i went out in my top 14 things that i liked underwear and this came from contour anyway it's from contour and i ordered two pairs of knickers and a bra and there's the information about Conturve. This is what came in the packet, Conturve. And it says, 
thank you for joining the contour family we hope you enjoy wearing your shapewear as much as we love making it love emma now contour is advertised on uh instagram it keeps coming up on my instagram and you see the girls doing that and trying to get into them and then they go from a floppy body to a lovely shape well i wear i like to wear uh, tight fitting uh, underwear like that but it's not too tight fitting that I can't breathe so I decided I saw that and I actually saw there was a, somebody else on a website was telling you all about them that she bought some so I thought I might try it and I'm very impressed by it not so impressed by the bra I've already got a couple of bras like this and I don't find that the size of my bust that they that it does fit me it fits me beautifully but what i find is because it's elastic because it's a, a a soft elastic like that i tend to find instead of pushing them right up or well, not that high up but instead of pushing my bust up i tend to be saggy and probably could get away with it i think probably what i might have to do is take a bit up on the shoulders and that's a common thing for for me because i'm short short bodied um i may have to take a bit up on the shoulders and that will fit them better but the, it has inside it has these um gel gel cups or not gel cup, this foam cups i think they're foam cups which round you a bit i think they'll look great under a t-shirt so uh yeah and what i can also do is I've got a couple of these I bought from other sources and I don't wear them very often but I do wear them for bed because I like to wear a bra in bed when you're too big I find that all when you're lying sideways they all fall down there and I tend to like this form of separation between so yes I do wear these bras I, I might try them see how it works with that one that one I would give a six out of ten for it because it's not as not as um body hug it no how, what I would say it is body hugging but it's not giving me the lift and, and hold that I expected it would do uh, but the other two I got and I've tried them on and they are lovely the first one is I got these ones for, with long legs I thought oh I'll try these ones with long legs and this is the one they go right down and they come right up when I wear them they come up to there which I like because it makes my bra and my pants look like I'm wearing a one piece but I can still go to the toilet which is good you're not kind of taking everything off to go to the toilet so and the nice thing about this is uh, it has a silicon silicon um, band that grips you as you put it on what I would recommend if you do do get this sort of thing is when you're putting it on turn it like that to put them on because if you tr do if you if you do it trying to get them on like that then they might stick to your body but if you turn it like that until you've got your feet in and that should actually make it much easier to put on comfort wise very comfortable shape wise very good it really makes a difference it, it gets rid of those bumps and bulges so that one yes and i um, I got them because they were reduced I wouldn't have paid the full price for them and they are reduced at the moment and this was the other one that I got and these were little shorter pants they have that silicon on the top again pull them on like that it makes life easier and um, they go right up to the top there for me and I think they are really really comfortable they're really good so um i think i paid 17 pounds or 15 pounds for them which is pricey but i will get a good bit of wear out of them the only thing i would say is that they don't have cotton in the gusset and cotton gussets are i, I like a cotton gusset it looks like it's a nylon gusset uh cotton gussets are far better but um having said that i do feel they're comfortable could always wear a little pair of knickers underneath if i wanted to but yes i'm very happy with these contours and apparently black friday they are going to have black friday sale and they are offering quite low prices for these i pulled 
pulled out this fabric because I'm going to use it to make another I'm going to use it to make another Antrim dress and this is the fabric that I have it's quite see-through but it's um it's a polyester that I got from Minerva Crafts last year or the year before I'm not sure it's been on my shelf for a while I have a purple dress like this and a blue one that I made in previous videos vlogs and I just this has been kind of hanging around not doing anything let's see I've probably got more than I really need again but this is going to be a an antrim dress fingers crossed <laughs> what's the day today Brian uh, the day today is uh, the uh, 10th of November he's had his hair cut Still a mess. No, I lie. Oh no, it is. It's the 10th, 10th of November, right. The, the watch tells it the American way. So I know, put, my watch does as well. So it I get it mixed the up. Month before yeah, the it says 11 10 and our yeah. kids think it's 11th of yeah. October. So, uh, hello, America. You do it backwards, get it sorted. <laughs> anyway, it's the 10th of November, and the, what I'm showing you is. That's the house of our gardener across the road. Excuse the dirty windows, so we've bought a carter to clean them. And um, he has... We haven't done it. We haven't done it yet. He has uh, hanging baskets out there. He put them up in June and they are still beautifully flowering in November. And we can't believe it. Now these aren't real flowers that I've got in my window. These are fabric flowers. <laughs> Excuse the noise, his lordship's making a lot of noise there. But uh, the windows will be clean because, show them what we've got, Brian. What are you doing there? I was making a lot of noise. Go on then, show them what you were doing. I was going like this. <laughs> what? All right, anyway, show them what we've bought. Oh. We haven't used it yet, have we? We have bought one of those Sweet. now ladies our friend john told us about this and he said it's absolutely fantastic you get a little mop that goes with it that you clean your windows with the mop and mm -hmm. then that is like a little hoover we'll perhaps it, do a demo it sucks your window and we'll worked. show you a little demo yes. sometime yes we bought that so we could do it during lockdown what do you say there i'm saying but it's useless for making coffee look you can't, you just, it doesn't even go in the jar. <laughs>